That's more like it. We'll pay up front and then next weekend, glorious. There you go. Dakota Fingers delivering crossed. as always, yes. Another sure sign of summer. Water World is now open as our the beaches at Presque Isle. Four beaches opened this weekend and the state park is looking for more lifeguards so it can open more of the beaches. The water park also opened this weekend, welcoming thousands of visitors to the facility near Presque Isle. Despite the rain, visitors headed to the park today, enjoying a relaxing Memorial Day. And park staff say it's been a busy season so far, but with schools now letting out, crowds expected, things really kick into gear there at Waterworld and Walton. Well, the foot traffic will be yeah. what they ho <laughs> yes, hoping indeed. it would be, right? A uh, popular spot in the area. All right, the bad weather is hampering traffic, though, as millions of Americans are traveling home this Memorial Day. And 29,000 flights have been delayed since Thursday. Weather forced even a brief ground stop at the busiest airport in the country on this holiday. Departures were on hold for about an hour and a half at Atlanta's Hartsfield Jackson International Airport. Severe thunderstorms triggered the ground stop, which slowed travelers on what TSA say has been the busiest travel weekend of all time. Nearly 3 million people screened just last Thursday at Transportation Security Administration checkpoints or TSA checkpoints, the second highest screening volume in the agency's history. This holiday weekend travel per the FAA was to be the busiest since 2010 to 20 years. Yeah. Wow. Good thing that we're here. Yeah, exactly. Don't have to deal with that. Deadly tornadoes hit Arkansas over the weekend, leaving behind a trail of devastation. At least eight people across the state were killed because of the storms down trees, down power lines. Some people trapped. Eva, this is horrific. Yes, and thousands of residents uh, have also been without power because of this if they didn't lose their home or right. business. Straight line winds cause significant damage. Search and rescue teams, they've been out since this happened about three days ago uh, across northwest Arkansas still looking for any survivors. Texas also pummeled as a result of this. Awful. Yes, absolutely yes. awful. Rescuers digging through the aftermath aftermath rather of a massive landslide in Papua New Guinea, still looking for survivors. Officials in the area say more than 2,000 people are feared dead after the natural disaster. People in some of the remote villages of the Pacific Island nation using sticks in their bare hands, digging through the mud, trying to find people who may have been trapped. Days of torrential rain led to this disaster. More than 150 houses were reportedly buried beneath piles of earth that reached two stories high in some areas. The search for survivors continues there several days after that landslide. Well, you can share or check out all the details on the stories that we are talking about this half hour right on our website, erienewsnow.com, and you can use a QR code at the bottom of the screen.